Ohio soccer trying to turn around some inconsistency in Mid-American Conference play and get back on the right foot as they take on Conference foe Buffalo here at Chesa Field on this chilly Sunday afternoon, a pink out game for Ohio soccer as well. Hello, everybody. My name is Noel Wolf. I'm joined by Gabe Genovese. And Gabe, there's a, a lot of anticipation around this one. Buffalo has been equally inconsistent, and you never really know what to expect, expect out of this Buffalo team. You said it, just kind of two inconsistent teams in the Mid-American Conference right now. I think Ohio has more talent than Buffalo, but the records don't really say so right now. Buffalo 2-3 and three in the MAC, Ohio 2-2-1 two, two and one in the Mid-American Conference. It obviously helps Ohio's at home today. This is a, almost a must win for Ohio. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it helps that Ohio's at home today just because in this series, the road team has won each of the last two years. Ohio got a 2-1 to one win in Buffalo last year. And in 2017, Buffalo defeated Ohio 2-1 to one here at Chessa. So Ohio has not won this series at Chessa for a little while, though they do have the lead in the all-time series over Buffalo. 11 wins, 10 losses for the Bobcats, and one tie between the two teams in the 24 meetings between, or 23 meetings, 22 meetings between the two there we teams. Go. Excuse me. 22. Math is hard. Um, now for the Bobcats, they, I think they're a little bit disappointed in the way that they played at Akron. Maybe not the way that they played, but certainly the result. The result, exactly. Uh, I mean, Ohio controlled that game for the most part. Olivia Molesky puts one in the back of the net to give Ohio a one nothing lead in about 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes later, Akron ties it up at one, and that's where uh, we they finished. A 1-1 tie. Nobody could score in either overtime as well in Ohio, again, 2-2-1 two, two and one in the MAC, and while that gives them fifth place in the Mid-American Conference right now, it felt, it feels like they've left a, a few points out there, a couple points at Akron if they could have got that win. Western Michigan beats Ohio one to nothing, you know, at Western back on September 29th. That's a game that Ohio feels like they should have won. So now it comes down to taking advantage of your home matches. Three straight home matches today against Buffalo, Central Michigan Friday, Eastern Michigan next Sunday, a week from today. And then not to get too far ahead, but the first game on the road after that is at Miami, and Miami's at the bottom of the MAC. In the next four matches for Ohio, you have to walk away with at least three victories. I think you're exactly right, and I think the toughest game for Ohio coming up is that Central Michigan game uh, happening next Friday. Central Michigan right above Ohio in the standings right now, whereas Buffalo, Eastern Michigan, and Miami are all 8, 9, and 10 in the MAC as things stand at the moment. But there's a lot of talent up and down this conference, and it's hard to count anyone out on any given day. We'll step aside for the national anthem, and we'll be back with you for kickoff. As we honor America, and in respect for those who are serving, those who have served to protect our freedoms, as we play our national anthem. Thank you. Our official 
Ohio soccer ready to take on Buffalo in a key conference matchup. Both teams sitting at two wins in Mid-American Conference play. Ohio one point above Buffalo in the standings because the Bobcats two losses and a tie in MAC play compared to Buffalo three losses. And you might not be able to tell which team is which at this point with Ohio wearing pink jerseys this afternoon. Not exactly a school color, but uh, for breast cancer awareness to kick off breast cancer awareness month here in October, the, the Ohio soccer team donning the pink jerseys. Pink jerseys, pink socks. You got pink towels as you walked in the stadium today. And they didn't go halfway with this. Those are some very, very bright pink jerseys All and out. socks that they're wearing. Big it's, fan. It's not as if they their white jerseys were washed with a red sock <laughs> in the washing machine. No, those, those are bright, almost fuchsia jerseys. Hopefully it brings Ohio some success today. Big matchup today against Buffalo. You've kind of set up where these two teams are in the max standings, but just to paint a little bigger of a picture, Bowling Green and Ball State are kind of pulling away from everyone. Bowling Green 15 points, Ball State 12 points in the in the conference. From there, it's anyone's conference for that third spot. Western Michigan 10 points, Central Michigan 9 points, Ohio, Akron, Kent State all with seven, Buffalo, Eastern Michigan, Miami all with six. Yeah, and you gotta think that this Buffalo team is has something to prove at this point. They're looking to prove that they belong toward the top of the conference rather than toward the bottom where they sit right now. And, and a win for Buffalo could really shake things up. A win for Ohio would definitely solidify their spot toward the top of the conference. Exactly, again, you have to scoreboard watch. You have to see what else happens around the MAC to see what a win would do for Ohio, what a win would do for Buffalo. But you said it, a win for the Bulls today would really propel them into the middle of the pack in the Mid-American Conference. Looks like we're just about set for kickoff as the Ohio starters take the field. Let me read off those starters for you. In, in goal today, Sidney Malum, the junior from Nashville, Tennessee. On the back line for the Bobcats, Victoria Breeden, Paige Knorr, Olivia Sensky, and Heather McGuire in there with her second start. The other three on the back line have all been have all started every single game for Ohio this season. In the midfield, Sydney Lecky, Olivia Molesky, and Courtney Dogadas getting the start. And up top for the Bobcats, Olivia Page gets her first start alongside Abby Townsend and Maddie Young. For Buffalo, as they start to take the field, looks like the Bulls in blue and white will have the first touch today. Buffalo starts Emily Kelly in goal, the sophomore goalkeeper who has started every single game for Buffalo this season. On the back line for Buffalo, Georgina Jandu, Tess Ford, and Caitlin Walsh. In the midfield, Hannah Callahan, Carly Zocali, Catherine Camper, and Kara Daly. And then up top for the Bulls, Taylor Caridi, Adriana Van Kuyk, and Marcy Barberick. Buffalo and Ohio set to go here on this Sunday afternoon. And the Bulls get things started. We are underway. Buffalo passing around in the back. Now sending one forward. McGuire steps in, but gives it away. McGuire nearly takes it away. Dogadas does the rest of the job. Page, who's playing pretty far back, kind of in that role where Jenny Santa Catarina normally is. Dogadas, Townsend, back to McGuire, looking for the forward run of Courtney Dogadas, but the Buffalo defender deals with it well, and Heather McGuire gives it away. Which team will start faster today? That's one of the keys, at least for me, this afternoon. Ohio normally starts very slow, only three goals in the first half this season, then they explode. They're fantastic at making halftime adjustments. Townsend for Lecky, and out of bounds for a goal kick. Good run by Sydney Lecky, but she couldn't finish it off. Great run by Lecky, good find from Townsend. Needs a little bit better of a touch in the box. She would have had the option to cross or maybe hit another running teammate or two. I think it was Maddie Young near the 18 as well. Emily Kelly for the goal kick. She'll play it short to Jandu. 
Buffalo seems content to establish possession, although they do play the odd long ball like that. Good speed from the Buffalo attack, but well dealt with by Victoria Breeden. McGuire gives it away. Quick shot deflected. Walsh chasing it down for Buffalo. Finally goes out of play. That's a spot where if you're Heather McGuire, you can't give it up. You cannot give it up. And again, she's a freshman. She she's still she's still learning some of the college games. She gives it up a little too much for Aaron Rodgers' liking. That was Taylor Caridi, by the way, with the speed for Buffalo. She can fly. Cross in, Malum collects. Good job by the junior goalkeeper to come out, be confident off her line there. Barbaric takes it away. Buffalo trying to keep possession, and they do. Barbaric down the right side, getting bullied. Right now, Paige Knorr with some good defense. Knorr trying to let it roll out for a goal kick, and it just stuck right on the line. She was forced to kick it out for a throw. But a great job establishing the position there for 100%. Paige Knorr. Callahan trying to play it forward. Just a little bit too strong. And Ohio will take possession. We'll see if the Bobcats have any luck getting it off their back line. Doesn't appear that way. Camper playing it back. Callahan. Callahan strong in possession there to keep it. Back in the middle for Buffalo. Camper. The cross deflected off of Nor and out for a corner. And we saw the nice little possession Ohio had that lasted about 45 seconds or so. Lucky the bad touch in the box. Ever since then, it's been all Buffalo in the opening minutes. Ohio just can't seem to get it out of their defensive third when they have the ball. Corner kick here for Buffalo. First corner of the game comes less than four minutes in. Swinging toward the outside of the 18, Malum doesn't get a head on it and it's pushed over the bar. Tess Ford had an open header. Goal kick, Ohio. But she couldn't pull it down. Wow. An open net, an empty net for Ford. All she had to do was really get a weak head on it, just dribble it into the goal. And instead, her header too powerful. Wow, missed opportunity for Buffalo. We've seen that a decent amount for Ohio this season. Missing opportunities in the attacking third or inside the 18. That time it's Buffalo who can't take advantage of an early opportunity. Huge break for Ohio and for Sydney Malum who is out of position. Camper looking for Callahan. Leckie trying to take it away and does. Paige Knorr finds Abby Townsend, but Ohio just can't seem to keep possession. Camper. Out over the touchline, Buffalo throw. Five minutes into this one and we're scoreless between Buffalo and Ohio. The Bulls have had a lot of positive energy early on and Ohio has been playing off the back foot for the past three or four minutes. Dagerdas back for Breeden, looking for McGuire. Touched out of bounds off of Caitlin Walsh, Ohio throw. Young, McGuire, well forward for Townsend. She gets the first touch on it, but she's not gonna be able to keep it from going out of play. Good defense there by Zucali. And I know it's hard in the moment, but Townsend, I think she should have looked at chest down there, keep control. There was no one with her up in the attacking third, and instead she heads out of bounds. Page for Molesky. Further back, Sensky. Now to Noor. Looking for Young, and Young's aggression there just couldn't win the ball. And it's high pressure from Buffalo that's kind of forcing Ohio to play a little quicker than they want to, not play the balls forward that they want to, and kind of has this back line scrambling at times. This one forward for Caridi, and Olivia Sensky steps in. Sydney Leckie keeps possession. 
Would have been a good forward ball for Abby Townsend had Georgina Jandu not stepped in. And then foul called against Olivia Page. Page getting the first start of her career today. She's been very good in the midfield for Ohio off the bench. Aaron Rodgers has talked to us about that. Very impressed with the way the freshmen's played in the last week and a half or so. Molesky with a good dispossession. Can she keep it? She'll go back to Breeden. Plenty of space for Victoria Breeden, now Dagradas. Taken away, good dispossession by Katherine Camper. And I like the way Breeden carried forward there. She made the Buffalo defender make a decision. Do you attack Breeden? Do you await back? And I think Breeden should have just played outside and set it in the middle there. Sensky. McGuire. Now for Doggerdoss. A little bit of space to run, quickly closed down. McGuire looking for Townsend. Page trying to find Doggerdoss. Kind of a 50-50 ball there. Page brings it down. Looks for Maddie Young forward down the right side. Young for Townsend. Townsend keeps it, but goes away from goal. Just a tough ball to control there for Abby Townsend. Tough ball to control. Again, just like with Lecky, touch a little too far. If she would have been able to keep it right on her feet, she would have had an empty net. McGuire, high cross. Just a little bit too long for Maddie Young, too short for Olivia Page. Camper, controlling down the left. She'll go one-on-one -on -one against McGuire. Molesky steps in crucially. And that's an excellent job by McGuire to force her toward Molesky. Camper wins it back. Playing toward the middle, now for Caridi. Caridi's onside, good stop by Breeden. Crucial defensive stop there from Victoria Breeden. Breeden with a nice job of sticking with it there. Ohio, another sloppy turnover, and they're defending third. Mallon stayed on her line. I think she was in good position to, to make the save if Breeden wasn't there, but Breeden with a nice job of blocking that shot. Caridi. McGuire takes it away. But she's double teamed right now, but she forces it off a Buffalo defender. That's a key play from the freshman, Heather McGuire. Looking forward for Townsend, just a little bit too short, and it goes out of play. Ford will pass to Zocali for the throw in. Molesky touches it out of bounds. Excuse me, it went off of a Buffalo player. Ohio throw. Townsend. Ohio throw. Page. Molesky. Sensky. Space quickly closed down for Sensky, but she still gets around the defender and passes forward. Molesky with a long ball forward. Townsend's on, on the end of it. Now Lecky. Lecky with a cross, maybe a shot. Goes wide of post, but and it was too powerful for Doggerdoss. Yeah, I think it was a shot. I think I think she was looking slash hoping to shoot the whole time, but a little bit of a mistouch as she tried to get into her shot, decided to shoot anyways. It goes wide. So Cal's available. It's one of those cases where lots of the lots of times you'd like Molesky to control that ball, but the yep. long ball ended up working out because of the mistouch, and then Townsend found Lucky. Yeah, Townsend got lucky there. She was really the only Ohio attacker forward in between three Buffalo defenders. But one bull made a crucial mistouch, and Ohio is in with Abby Townsend. Doggerdoss keeps it in. For now, can she totally keep it in? She does. Off a Buffalo defender for a corner kick. Great individual effort from Courtney Doggerdoss. And it started with McGuire near midfield. A little touch around a Buffalo bowl and then a good ball to Doggerdoss. 
thought for a second she should have controlled at her feet instead of letting that ball roll, but you said it. She made an excellent play down the line to keep it in and force the corner. Sydney Leckie to take the corner, goes short to Page. Page with the cross, deflected immediately by Marcy Barbaric. And Ohio loses it again. Inside their attacking third, Doggerdoss trying to win it back and does. Courtney Doggerdoss has had some great energy down that right side. Lucky trying to play it in, deflected. McGuire gives it away. Breeden wins it back. Sensky. Nor. A little bit of a mistouch there from Paige Nor, but she's able to recover. Sensky. Play is back for Malum. Sensky. Nor. Deflected. Sensky keeps it, but gives it away off the feet of Nor. And Buffalo might be in here. Caridi plays to Camper. The shot is in. Captain Camper with the goal. This is by Barbara. And caught Caridi. Catherine Camper puts the Bulls on the board first. Her second goal of the season. That's just excellent passing from Buffalo up front as well. Again, the high pressure from Buffalo. Ohio kind of scrambling, playing quicker than they want to. Buffalo forcing turnovers, forcing bad touches, and it leads to a little counterattack there from Buffalo for an easy one nothing lead. The Bulls just seem to be the more organized team at this point. We'll see if Ohio can adjust. Molesky looking way forward for Matty Young. Young has the speed to keep it inbounds and control. Goes out of play off a Buffalo defender. Young throws for Townsend forward. Good control by Abby Townsend. The cross deflected. Young keeps it. Looks for Molesky just a little bit too powerful. And Buffalo takes over. Ball played forward for Caridi. Sensky reads it well, and Caridi was offside oh, anyway. What a touch from Townsend in the 18. My goodness, that's the second or third time this afternoon as well that an Ohio cross has gotten blocked, and we haven't even had the chance to see what Ohio would be able to do with it in the 18. McGuire. This one deflected. Townsend still able to get on the end of it. But Doggerdoss can't keep it. Tough 50-50 chance there for Courtney Doggerdoss. Buffalo surging forward now. Barbaric plays it forward, but to nobody except Ohio's Paige Knorr. Touchdown to play off of Buffalo. Sydney Lecky throws it into Sensky. Leckie gives it away. Buffalo with another potential counterattack on their hands. Camper misplaced pass. Just about 15 minutes gone in the first half. Buffalo leading Ohio 1 0. Great ball from Breeden and now a good ball from Doggerdis as well. Townsend down the right side. Good defense there from Jandu. But given away by Townsend, and she shows some frustration as she couldn't keep it in. Buffalo more organized, more aggressive, more physical right now. Eventually, somehow, some way, Ohio's going to have to flip this, force Buffalo to play out of the back a little bit and press high. Townsend knew she had a good opportunity there. She kind of slammed the ground in frustration after giving it away. And that's the second time today Buffalo has just wanted to play it short on a goal kick. Lecky missed touch. And Buffalo has a chance down the right side. Played forward for Caridi. Good step in by Olivia Sensky. Boy, has she been solid today. Sensky's been fantastic in the back. So is Victoria Breeden. 
Lecky's given it away a lot on the far side. McGuire gave it away a time or two along the right side. And Buffalo has numbers. Looking for Caridi. Sensky in the perfect spot once again. And she plays it forward for Young. Young looking for Townsend. A Buffalo defender slips. But Carly Zakali is there to recover. Oh, nearly a chance for Abby Townsend to slip through there. It seems like those are the best opportunities Ohio has had in the opening 16, 17 minutes or so. Buffalo mistakes has led to a couple opportunities for crosses. Townsend tried the long shot, blocked again. Nor able to keep it with Ohio, playing for Sensky. Cross toward the middle of the field, well read. And Buffalo kept it for a second. Molesky wins it back. Page, Townsend. Still working forward, the cross. Dagodas is shot blocked. Townsend keeps it there and pushes it well over the touch line. Townsend just got underneath that one too much. And credit to the Buffalo defense for getting in the way of shots, crosses in the first 17 minutes of this match. I mean, once or twice it might seem a little lucky that they're just getting a foot on it, but this is now five, six times that Buffalo has been able to get a body on a shot slash cross. That's not a bad shot from Doggertis. Not at all. In the, inside the 18. Just One of the best opportunities that Ohio's been able to set up today. Jandu for Buffalo. Playing forward for Caridi. She's able to control near midfield. Now brings it forward. Good ball forward, but hard to control for Marcy Barbaric and Ohio catches a little bit of a defensive break. If that ball doesn't hit Barbaric's calf, I think if that's able to trickle in front of her, she's in with her speed. You said it, Ohio catches another break. Jandu plays for Ford. Good step in by Molesky. Ford, back for Zocali, now Jandu. There you go. Given away. Lecky controls. She's going to try and run into some space. Lecky playing for Molesky, and it's a bad pass from Sydney Lecky. Sensky all the way across for McGuire, who touches it down well. Now forward for Doggerdas. Doggerdas looking for somewhere to run, finds some space. Touched out of bounds by Zocali, but it'll go Ohio's way. Love the switch from Noor, far side to near side, left to right, and McGuire with a good ball to Doggardas. Created space here on the right side. Doggardas tries the cross. Kind of a pop fly there for oh Emily Kelly, 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 the outfielder, to just range underneath and make the easy catch in center field. Hang on, this is soccer. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> Kelly with a similarly easy play. And with that roll by Kelly, we have now not seen her kick a goal kick long, and we haven't seen her punt the ball. Uh, I'm very curious if w what would happen if Ohio took away her short options on the goal kicks and forced her to play it. I think that's a great point. As Buffalo tries to work forward here, Catherine Camper taken away by Olivia Molesky. Excuse me, Sydney Lecky was in there on defense. Dagadas, Young. Young with speed and physicality, playing forward for Abby Townsend. Good slide in there by Jandu to win it back for Buffalo. What control from Jandu. Breeden for Ohio, working against Caridi. She'll play back for Malum. And now you see as fatigue sets in a little bit, Buffalo not pressing as high. Earlier we saw Caridi challenge Malum and run all the way in the 18. But Buffalo still pressing high and controlling. Caridi looking forward for Barbaric. Sensky and Malum make sure she doesn't get there. I think that's a little bit of fatigue there too, Gabe. Breeden has to get out of trouble and throws it out of, or kicks it out of bounds. Excuse me. 
Substitution <laughs> for Buffalo as Kara Daly comes out and Leah Wengender comes in. Kara Daly. Low cross to the middle. Played forward by Barbaric looking for Caridi down the left side and well dealt with by Victoria Breeden. Curious to see what Ohio decides to do. Again, Buffalo pressing forward. They've controlled most of, this, of the possession. It's been in the attacking third. Will Ohio send more numbers back and then try to counter? Or will they stay how they are right now? Jandu, Barbaric, Sydney Leckie steps in. And Ohio wins it back. Sensky trying to play deep for Abby Townsend. Leckie controls, now Townsend. Sensky forward again. Jan Du with a good header. Camper, Barbaric, Callahan. Looking for Caridi, good speed from Caridi, but Sensky with some impressive control. Still a chance for Buffalo, however. Walsh in the middle looking for Caridi. Sensky in the right spot at the right time. Young tries to take it away for Ohio, but Ford and Zocali able to deal with it. Kelly plays wide. Long ball forward for Caridi. Caridi's on side. Sensky pushes it out of play. 22 minutes to go in the first half. We're just about halfway through the first half. Buffalo one, Ohio nothing. Long cross in for Walsh. McGuire does a good job to control it. That was Buffalo trying to catch the Ohio back line off guard, but they stepped in at the right time. Now a potential here for Abby Townsend. She forces Zocali to kick it out of bounds. If that ball is just a little longer, another three, four feet in the air, Townsend's in. Substitution for Ohio. Any Santa Catarina coming into the Santa Catarina and Deerig on for Ohio. Maddie Young and Olivia Page, the two freshman forwards, come off. So a little bit more experience into the midfield for Ohio in Santa Catarina and Deerig, both juniors. Yeah, more experience and now fresh legs for Ohio in the midfield. See if it pays off. Sensky. Dagadas leaves it for Townsend. Townsend a good cross, but Jandu deals with it well. Georgina Jandu has been key to that back line for Buffalo. And now the Bulls have a little bit of a chance here. Stepping in well is Paige Knorr. Gabe, talk about that chance for Ohio. Molesky was right behind Jandu. That was one heck of a ball from Townsend. Georgina Jandu is saved. Several chances Ohio would have had today. Credit to her, the center back for Buffalo. Townsend is pushed over by Carly Zucali. Great control from Abby Townsend. She would have given a big challenge to the rest of the back line for Buffalo had she been allowed to control that and not pushed over. The sophomore has been Ohio's, probably Ohio's best player on the field today, besides for maybe Olivia Sensky, Victoria Breeden doing some fantastic work in the back. Ohio's opportunities offensively have come because of Abby Townsend. Sensky to take the free kick. Long ball in toward the 18. Santa Catarina gets ahead toward it. Emily Kelly comes out to collect for Buffalo. Sydney Leckie and, and Kelly were in a foot race. And Kelly able to win it. Kelly sends her team forward, and she'll punt it away. Molesky, a low header looking for Deerig, cleared away. And Sensky will leave that for Sidney Mallon. Ball 
Malum thought about a quick roll. Instead, a drop kick. Deerig gets ahead toward it. Dagerdas trying to chase it down. Out of play, off the head of a Buffalo defender, specifically Carly Zocali. Credit to Serena Deerig there, getting the first touch in the air. McGuire's long ball goes off the face of Caitlin Walsh. She takes a little bit of time to readjust, but she seems to be okay. And she taps that one out of play. Referee stops play for just a second to check on Caitlin Walsh. He seemed to be in disbelief when she said, yeah, I'm okay. Townsend forward for Doggardas on the right side. Left footed cross deflected. Townsend brings it down. Controls toward the middle, looking for Deere, a crucial step in by Tess Ford. And Buffalo will play forward now. Sensky tries to come out to stop that one. A rare misstep on defense from her. Caridi against Breeden. Plays it back, good cross in, diving attempt from Malum, but it's wide a post. Marcy Barbaric on the shot. Oh, that's gotta mark up a little better in the box. They had numbers back. Buffalo did not have you know, more numbers forward than Ohio did defensively, but still a fantastic opportunity in the 18 for Buffalo. 17 and a half minutes to play. First half, Buffalo leading Ohio 1 0. As Sydney Malum prepares for a goal kick. Ohio has had some trouble sending numbers forward, yet they have more shots on goal than Buffalo at this point, 2 1. Buffalo working forward now. Barbaric is on side. Quick shot. Malum with a diving save gets another hand to it, but it doesn't matter. Judith. Annie and Judas with the goal for Buffalo, her second of the season. And the Bulls take a two goal lead. The first stop from Malum, an excellent one. I think she's a little upset with herself that she didn't hold on to it, that she allowed the rebound to pop right out to Judas, but Credit to Judas for being in the right spot at the right time and finishing. Ohio has a huge hole to climb out of. Then a great second attempt, too, by Malum. She was off balance, but still able to get forward. Townsend able to get forward here into the 18. Townsend trying to control last second defense there from Buffalo, and they'll take it away. I think she overthought it a little. She didn't know what she wanted to do. Give it to Molesky in the middle, try to touch around and shoot. I would have put it right on that left foot and take a shot. Lecky forward for Deerig, but Callahan steps in at the crucial time. Molesky looking to the right side. Tristan Whalen was just a little bit too close to the touch line to be a threat there, so Buffalo takes over. Judas down the left. Judas, the cross goes off of McGuire. The Buffalo attacker still has it. Cross in, Sensky, missed touch. Able to keep it. A little bit of contact in the box, no whistle. Now Ohio with a chance forward. Serena Deerig stops her run, works toward the middle. Looks for Tristan Whalen and played it too short. Santa Catarina will keep it with Ohio, but I think Ohio attacking has just been overthinking it a bit too much. Again, I thought it was the right decision from Deerig. Whalen was, was running. At least from up here, it was very easy to see a good play would have been to Whalen down the near side, but just played it too short. I think Deerig had space in front of her too initially, and was just kind of slowing her run a little bit. As Santa Catarina is whistled for the foul, and Buffalo will have a free kick near the center circle. And she got to the ball first. I mean, she won the ball away and then the Buffalo midfielder tripped over her. Jordina Jandu takes it short to Barbaric. Long shot for Barbaric and it's wide. Malum had it covered all the way. 
Under a quarter of an hour left in the first half. Buffalo leading Ohio 2-0. Alum's goal kick, Molesky gets on the end of it, but Georgina Jandu kicks it away. Molesky, the last three touches for Ohio have been off the head of Olivia Molesky. Whalen wins it away. And now a couple more Ohio subs. Allie Miller. And Lindsey Townsend into the game Valley for Ohio. For Buffalo. Trio substitutions for Ohio. Taylor Dickerson on the pitch. Interesting to see if along with Allie Miller, Taylor Dickerson, Townsend. Miller, and Lindsey Townsend, how long they stay in the game. Olivia Molesky, Abby Townsend. Didn't see who the third one that went off was for Ohio. But those are two of your best players now off the pitch for the Bobcats, down 2 nothing. Aaron Rodgers, I guess, wants to try something different. Miller. McGuire. I think the third one was Olivia Sensky. Yeah, Sensky. Who has been the best defender on the pitch today. At least wearing a pink jersey. I'd say the best defender of today's contest has to be Georgina Jandu in the way that she has stepped up in key situations for Buffalo. 100% and now off steps for Heather Ohio. McGuire. Constantina Janu. And Constantina Janu comes into the game for Ohio. Olivia Darrow, it looks like, will take over that right back position. Miller, Breeden. Good touch forward from Breeden. Breeden looking for Taylor Dickerson. Good speed from Dickerson. Touched out of bounds for a goal kick. But there's a Buffalo foul near midfield. Advantage was played forward, so Ohio will get a free kick, it looks like. Yeah, Breeding got knocked down, and they played advantage. Advantage was the right call. And now they move it back. It was a Buffalo infraction. Miller. Leckie gives it away. Played forward for Buffalo. Chasing it down is Scalise. Ohio deals with it. Dierig. Over to the right side looking for Whalen. Good step in there by Zocali. Tristan Whalen leaps into the back of Annie Judas. And Buffalo will have a free kick. And Sydney Lecky has been fantastic defensively today for Ohio, but she's given the ball away a lot near the midfield. Jandu to take the free kick. Bunch of Buffalo bodies up near the top of the 18-yard box. Jandu a low cross in. Camper. Cross deflected. Townsend tries to win it away. Ohio, or excuse me, Buffalo keeps it, but only so far as Sydney Leckie, whose pass to Deerig is intercepted. Ohio catches a break as that one goes out of play. Ten minutes left in the first half. Buffalo leading two nothing. Aaron Rodgers has made a lot of adjustments to his rotation. Allie Miller steps in in defense there for Ohio. 
Janu can't track that one down. I think this might be the most first half substitutions for Aaron Rodgers in a home game here at Chessa. Buffalo trying to find their way into the box, deflected out of play, and Buffalo will have a corner. Leah Wengender. Wengender should take the corner kick for Buffalo. Wengender will take the corner. Buffalo leading 2 0 with nine minutes to play in the first. Wengender's kick toward the middle of the penalty area, touched away, still bouncing around, and Janu does not keep it in. It's off an Ohio defender last. Another corner kick for Buffalo. Leo Wengender taking the corner. Once again, the Rochester, New York native Leo Wengender will take it. Jandu with a head on it, not directed well. Camper, cross toward the far post. Miller does a good job of winning it away. Taylor Dickerson keeps control for Ohio. Breeden. Looking long for Whalen. So Callie was there with the header. And Deerig's physicality was apparently too much for the referee. Deerig won that ball in the air too. Just got a little too much of, I believe, that was Ford. It was Tess Ford in the midfield for Buffalo. Ford plays for Mandorano. Mandorano, excuse me. Santa Catarina steps in. Lindsey Townsend slips. Deerig recovers. Runs into a double team. And Darrow slips there. And Buffalo will have a throw on the near side. So Callie throws to Jan Du. Long ball played down the right side. Into the middle for Scalise. Bouncing around, Scalise chases it down. Plays for Camper. And Ohio able to deal with it. Santa Catarina with the crucial pass for Whalen. Whalen's speed down the right side. Not quite enough to get past the defender. Darrow, Santa Catarina, Breeden. Nearly gave it away there, but found the pass to Allie Miller. Lecky, Townsend, couldn't quite keep it. Ball played forward for Scalise. Victoria Breeden tracks it down. Lecky. For Janu, that pass misplaced. And Buffalo marching down the right side. Riley Bowers runs into some trouble from Sidney Lecky. And that's a Buffalo throw. First, some substitutions. Johnny Yurtek into the game for the first time for Buffalo. On the pitch for Ohio. Paige Papanastos. Paige Papanastos comes on for Sydney Leckie. For Ohio, only two starters still on the pitch. Sydney Malum and Victoria Breeden. Lindsay Townsend here goes forward for Waylon, and it'll slow down for Waylon. Deerig. Waylon with a crucial touch for Darrow. Now Dickerson, 
Down the right side for Whalen. Potential here for Ohio. Whalen, low cross, right to the feet of Jandu. Georgina Jandu has been in the right place every time for Buffalo. Not just the right place at certain times, the right place every time. And Buffalo is turning it into a counterattack. Scalise can't get around the defense of Ali Miller. Great physical play there from Miller to turn it around for a positive for Ohio. Gabe, you had something to say about that Ohio attack just a second ago. I mean, it was the it was the right idea from Waylon. Darrow was the most open bobcat in the box, and she played it to her feet. And you said it, Jan Du has been in the right spot at the right time every single time for Buffalo this afternoon. Substitution for Buffalo as Tatiana Scalise comes off. In. Placing Scalise. And Maraid Martin on for Buffalo. Deerig a header toward Whalen. Now Townsend. Dara. Whalen. Whalen keeps it. Dara. Looking for Deerig Jandu with a misstep, but Buffalo recovers defensively. Mandarano was there. I think that's the first misstep Jandu has had all afternoon, and Ohio didn't have anyone up there with Deerig. Under three minutes to play in the first half. Buffalo leading Ohio 2 0. Santa Catarina touches that one out of play. Good defensive header there from the junior. Buffalo looking to work it forward. But when gender couldn't keep it in play. Janu. Down the left side for Papanastos. Looking forward for Dickerson, right to the feet of a Buffalo defender. Jandu plays to her right. Buffalo, a long ball forward for Martin. Allie Miller was there. Lindsey Townsend. Dierig. Whalen. Dierig. To the right side for Darrow. Now toward the middle looking for Lindsey Townsend. Miller. Janu puts herself in the right place. Whalen down the right side. She's played on by Jandu. Whalen still has it. Low cross for Janu, just a little bit too long. Darrow keeps it with Ohio. Bouncing around in the box, Papanastos couldn't get there. And Buffalo, it looks like, finally clears the situation. It'll be Ohio. Ball and Ohio throw down their right side. 40 seconds left in the first half. Ohio looking for an answer before the halftime buzzer. This one forward for Papanastos, and she has the speed to beat Wengender. Still there for Papanastos. Breeden. A low cross for almost nobody. Janu steps in into the box, but loses it to Wengender. Ten, Ten seconds left in the nine, first half. Eight, Papanastos seven, for the throw. Six, Breeden. Five, four, three, the attempt blocked, three, and that'll one, do it for the first half. Zero. At the end Ten, of the first, first 45 four, minutes, Buffalo, Buffalo two, Ohio. two, Ohio nothing.
in this Mid-American Conference clash at Chesa Field. Your first half thoughts. Frustrating half for Ohio. Every opportunity it seemed like Ohio had. Again, credit to Buffalo at the beginning. They blocked six or seven shots slash crosses. But late in that second half, it was just a missed touch or two from Ohio near the 18 or a misplay, uh, like I said, in the attacking third near the 18. And the Bobcats never really... They didn't get a, a, a good shot on goal, really. I mean, Kelly hasn't really been tested. It's been frustrating for Ohio. Ohio trails Buffalo by two. Still 45 minutes of soccer to be played. We'll be back with you at the end of this 15-minute halftime period. You're listening. You're, you're tuned in to Ohio Soccer on Ohio Bobcat TV.
Second half just about to begin here at Chessa Field. Buffalo leading Ohio two to nothing. Ohio has long been a second half team. That's not just something this season. It's been for the majority of Aaron Rodgers' tenure that Ohio has been a second half team. We'll see if they can pull something out in this second half and compete a little bit more. Buffalo seem to have a pretty dominant grasp on the first half, although the numbers don't exactly uh, make it that way. No, they don't reflect that way at all. It says Ohio has 50, had 51% possession, and it seemed like it was the opposite. Buffalo just had more chances in the attacking third. Yeah, seven shots, four on target for Buffalo. For Ohio, three shots, none of them on target. Ohio rolling down the right side here. Townsend with a low cross in for Doggardas, just behind the netting. Quick opportunity for Ohio within the first 30 seconds. And that's what you need if you're Ohio. Let's see what halftime adjustments Aaron Rodgers decided to make. Right away, you're gonna see a little bit of pressure high from Ohio on this goal kick. If you're the Bobcats, you need a quick goal. You need a goal in the first 10 to 15 minutes of this half. Kelly gives it away for Whalen. The referee blew the whistle, much to the confusion of everyone and they'll retake the goal kick. Kelly goes wide to Van Kike and out of play. And that's what you want if they're gonna play these goal kicks short. Ohio needs to pressure high, force turnovers. Jandu. Forward for Daly, now Camper. Tristan Whalen tracks it down, plays for Kalika, who's in the game for the first time. A Little bit of a misstep there from Morgan Kalika, but she's able to keep it. Looks for Leckie down the left, and it's out for a Buffalo throw. Van Kike. Callahan, now Daly, back to Callahan. Camper for Barbaric, touched away, and Kalika clears the danger only as far as Tess Ford. Whalen with some good aggression there to take it away. Looking to keep it with Ohio as she ran into a couple of Buffalo defenders. Molesky with some high pressure on Van Kike, and now Jandu boots it away. Lucky looking for Dagadas, misplaced. Good step in by Santa Catarina. Molesky playing forward, but just way too long for Maddie Young, and Emily Kelly steps in. She had Tristan Whalen wide open, too. Long ball played forward for Caridi. Dealt with by Breed and Santa Catarina wins it and she overstepped. The whistle blows and Buffalo has a free kick from their own half. Whalen steps in to try to win it from Zocali, ends up pushing it over the touchline. So Cali will throw it in for Buffalo. Santa Catarina, Molesky playing back for Sensky. And Sensky couldn't really control that one, gets under it a little bit. Townsend though, wins it, takes the pass from Young. Plays off for Whalen. Whalen for Townsend. Deflected out of play. Corner kick for Ohio. And you'll take the corner if you're Ohio, but once again, 
Buffalo there defensively to prevent the cross. Ohio gonna play short. Lecky. Townsend, low cross in for Dagadas, who is offside. <laughs> Buffalo leading by two. Five minutes down in the, f in the second half, excuse me. Kelly. Was thinking about playing it short. Now she'll send everyone up the pitch. Gets a warning of time wasting. Molesky wins it. Young. Young along shot wide. And I get wanting to put shots on net, but Young's got to settle that. She had Doggardis running down the left side. Would have been all alone near the top of the 18. Kelly. Molesky wins it, tries to play forward for Townsend. Townsend chasing Van Kuyk. The Buffalo defender gives it away to Dagerdas. Townsend doesn't keep it in. Buffalo throw. And Kelly just doesn't have a strong leg. She can't kick it more than 35-ish uh, yards. Dagadas looking for Townsend. Jandu controlling for Buffalo. Out over the t out over the end line. Corner kick for Ohio. Again, Ohio pressure high, pressure high. Buffalo out of sorts like we saw Ohio out of sorts in the opening minutes of the first half. Townsend to take the corner for Ohio. Swinging in, Molesky can't get ahead to it, still bouncing around, good save from Kelly. Whalen plays it low, and it's dealt with by Buffalo. Breeden will keep it with Ohio. Whalen tries to turn around, still Ohio possession. Looking for Matty Young long, just a little bit well, not strong enough of a throw there from Whalen, but Ohio able to keep it. Kalika's pass misplaced, and now Buffalo charging forward. Kalika with a touch in there, and Breeden cuts off the pass. Lecky, Dagadas. A lot of space for Dagadas in front of her, and she'll run into it. Townsend. Looking for Lecky a little bit behind her, but Lecky recovers. Santa Catarina Sensky. Forward for Lecky, long run and she's unmarked. Lecky, low cross, Jandu steps in. Georgina Jandu fighting with Townsend and eventually Buffalo able to clear it was Van Kuyk. Barbaric leaps in with the header and it didn't look like there was too much contact, but Buffalo We'll have a free kick. She was already in the air, and Sensky just going for the ball bumped her. Van Kuyk's pass intercepted by Lecky. Molesky playing well forward for Whalen. Does the freshman have the pace? She doesn't, but she wins the second ball, and then... Almost gives away a corner kick, or almost wins a corner kick. Instead, an Ohio throw. So Callie cleared that ball. I think she saved possession for Ohio. I think she did too. Molesky's had her wide of post. The senior puts that on net seven, eight times out of 10. Good cross from Whalen. Van Kuyk's ball forward, intercepted by Santa Catarina. Jandu boots it straight up in the air. Ohio tries to win it. Barbaric steps in. Good defense there by Whalen. She was retreating but stopped to take away the ball. 
Out over the touch line. So Callie nearly saved that one. Ohio to take the throw. Young looking for Whalen. Santa Catarina trying to step in. Lecky does. Santa Catarina whistled for a foul again. Ten minutes down in the second half. Ohio has had the lion's share of the possession as they take it away here again. Townsend can't quite get on the end of that one. Daly down the right side for Buffalo. Gets around Lecky. Doesn't get around Sensky, and Ohio wins it back. Dagadas. Townsend, back to Dagadas. Townsend touches it out of play, Buffalo throw. Ohio, not only the lion's share of possession in this second half, but they've also had their best opportunities of the game within the first 10 minutes. And you hear Aaron Rodgers, who's now standing, push up, push up, push up. He wants everything forward. Molesky. Looking for Townsend, good run for Townsend. She's on the end of it, quick cross in, not enough power, and Emily Kelly dives to collect. But a great run forward there for Abby Townsend. Had that ball been played just a little bit softer by Molesky, it would have been perfect. And you know this punt from Kelly isn't going past midfield. Up in the air right about to midfield as Molesky Gets on the end of it. Townsend is offside. Offside the call. Buffalo free kick. Georgina Jandu will take it. Molesky steps in, pushed over by Van Kuyk, no call. Ohio will have the, the throw in anyway. We've seen a lot less contact with a quicker whistle from the referee. Van Kuyk touches it out of play. Good presence from Dagerdas to force the pressure on Van Kuyk. Lecky. Throws it in to Townsend. Fighting against two defenders, keeps it. Good cross in, handball. Handling infraction call. It did hit her hand. Free kick for Buffalo. And as positively as the Bulls played in the first half, they don't seem at all concerned about getting the ball forward here in this second half. Dagadas wins the header from Van Kuyk. Van Kuyk keeps possession. And now plays forward for Daly. Good play from Dagadas to Lecky. Low cross, Jandu in the right spot. Still bouncing around. This one's going to roll over the touch line for an Ohio throw. Great back heel pass, though, from Dagerdas to set that in motion. Pretty from Dagerdas and Lecky with a nice low cross. We'll see if Ohio can get something now. Dagerdas spins around one defender. Cross into Whalen is just a little bit too long. Matty Young still there, but it's cleared away. Sensky a little bit too aggressive that time on Caridi. Free kick coming up for Buffalo on their own half. Some of the Ohio fans in the stands complaining about the pace at which Buffalo wants to play in this second half. The Bulls have been taking their time every time they've had a free kick or a goal kick to take. Sensky gives it away in the middle to Callahan. Camper. Playing forward down the left side. Cross deflected by Kalika. 
And Maddie Young whistled for a foul that time. Buffalo with a free kick in a dangerous position. Jandu comes forward to take it. Important spot for the Ohio defense right here. You've dominated the first 15 minutes of this second half. Can't afford to give one up. Jandu goes for goal. Malum with the save. The wall in the right spot, and Malum was too. John Dew, the attempt, gathered in by Mullen. Camper wins it for Buffalo. Past the hour mark in this one, half an hour to go. Buffalo leading by two as they try to press for another. Kalika steps in. Santa Catarina a little bit indecisive. And she ends up giving it away. Camper, long shot. Malum collects. I think that one was going wide a post anyway, but Malum plays for Sensky. Now to Lecky. Quick pass to Dagadas. Forward for Lecky. Townsend can't control it. Dagadas running all over the place and wins it back for Ohio. Substitution now for Ohio as Paige Knorr comes on for Paige Tristan Whalen. And that'll send Lecky over to the opposite Buffalo. side. Buffalo Riley Bowers. subbing five, Overtime excuse me, six of their players off at the same time. Molesky can't keep it. Leah and, and now the Buffalo Bulls have control here. Kalika steps in for Ohio. Molesky looking forward for Townsend. There's space for Abby Townsend on the right side. Townsend controls, trying to find a way into the box. Physical play over there on the right side, and it's given away. Santa Catarina steps in, finds Molesky, now Townsend. Townsend looking forward for Matty Young, Jan Du, and Kelly get there just before Young. But not a bad idea. Kalika just trying to clear it away. And Gives it to Kelly. Emily Kelly sending her team forward. Not interested in playing it short. Punts it toward midfield. Nor in a physical battle, she doesn't win it. Steps in at the crucial time there. Breeden. Trying to find Lecky forward just a little bit too long from Breeden. And now it seems like things have kind of evened back out in this second half. Both teams kind of with possession in the midfield, not really able to get anything forward. Just kind of feels like Ohio missed an opportunity in the first 15 minutes of the second half when everything was on in Buffalo's, you know, in their attacking third on Buffalo's side. Breeden shoved over, and Ohio gets a free kick. They take it immediately. Malum looking for Sensky, who kicks it toward the middle of the midfield and gives it away. Dagadas steps in. Dagadas with a lot of speed toward the midfield. She's been hungry all day today. And she's shown the most energy at some points in this game. Malum with the 
relatively easy when save off a long easy. shot from Leah Wengender. Nor looking deep for, for Abby Townsend. Paige Nor with another header there. But Buffalo controlling in the middle of the field. Played forward for Scalise Malum in the right spot. 25 minutes to go. Ohio still trailing by two. Breed into the feet of Kalika. Young gives it away. Santa Catarina steps in. Kalika. Sensky. Paige Noor. Good ball from Townsend to Doggerdoss down the left side. Into the box for Jandu. Townsend put a little bit more power behind that touch than she wanted to. And it's out of play for a goal kick. Good ball from Townsend to Doggerdoss there. Just not numbers forward for Ohio. No one for really Doggerdoss to give the ball to. Buffalo substitution. Kelly to Jandu. Looking to the right side for Wengender. Dagardas putting some pressure on. Nearly wins it from Wengender that time. Forces Wengender to play long and Nor just has to kick it out of play. Throw in for Buffalo on their attacking third. Down the right side into the penalty area. And Buffalo plays it back. Jandu, dangerous ball forward. Quick shot over the bar. Maraid Martin on the attempt that time for Buffalo. And the Ohio defense just looked unequipped to handle that long ball. A little unorganized in the back. Nor gets it back from Doggerdas. Looking for Townsend, good spot there. Abby Townsend. Molesky playing forward for Leckie, a little bit of a miscommunication there. And that's what it's been all afternoon long for Ohio. Some good build-ups, build good work along the left side here for the Bobcats, and then just a little bit of a miscommunication between Molesky and Leckie there. It's a bad touch near the 18. Crosses blocked, shots blocked. Ohio's had good opportunities in the attacking third, but still no real good shots or anything like that. When gender. Working down the right side of the penalty area. The cross is out over the touch line, but it's deflected there. The Corner kick, kick for Buffalo. Buffalo. Ohio needs to find that same energy that they had toward the beginning of this second half. When gender to take the corner. To take the corner. Low cross in. Deflected by Sensky. Sensky still fighting for it. Dagardas plays out for Townsend. Townsend gets away from Zocali. Plays forward for Lecky. Back to Townsend down the left side. Long run for Townsend. She gets there. Townsend tripped up in the penalty area. Ohio had numbers forward. Still something potentially for Sydney Leckie down the right side. But there it is again, Gabe. Same thing. Repeat it. Good opportunity for the Bobcats. I thought the pass from Town, the original pass from Townsend to Leckie had to be long, stronger. It had to lead Leckie out in front. Instead, Leckie kind of had to stop. It was a good ball back to Townsend. And Ohio still had three on two and couldn't take advantage. Leckie forward for Young in the penalty area. 
looking for Townsend. She's tripped up as she fires one high. It's deflected and a corner kick. Referee seemed reluctant to blow the whistle when Ohio is on the attack. But Ohio has a chance here. Townsend to take the corner. 20 minutes to play. Second half, Ohio down by two. Bodies bunched up near the top of the penalty area for Ohio. Townsend. For Molesky, the header just wide. Molesky just wide of post on the header. She's so good at getting up and winning the ball in the air, but hasn't been able to put the two opportunities she's had near the six on net. Kelly for the goal kick for Buffalo. Boots it long. Molesky wins the header down. Townsend tries to play for McGuire and forces a long ball for Buffalo out of play. McGuire, Townsend. Cross in, Kelly collects. Young was nearly on the end of it. And now Buffalo trying to play forward. Crucial slide by Santa Catarina. Molesky nearly kept it for Ohio. Clock stops here as Breeden whistled for the foul. She'll be shown a yellow card as well. Only the fourth yellow card for Ohio this season in their 14th game. Jan Du to take the free kick. Jan Du taking her time. Waiting for something to develop forward. The Buffalo player slips and gives it away to Ohio. It was Yurchak. But Ohio just doesn't have the numbers forward for that long ball to succeed. Kelly gives it away. McGuire to the middle for Townsend. But it's pushed away. And Buffalo deals with it again. The Bulls have been organized in defense all day. And just another... You know, not the right decision. I don't want to say a bad decision. I get it. You're trying to get the ball to Townsend in the 18, but Kalika running on had no one in front of her at the top of the box. She wouldn't have been able to dribble right in and be one on one, but she would have got a shot off. And Callahan back in the lineup. And instead, Ohio once again threatens and doesn't even get a shot on goal. Buffalo playing forward down the left. Low cross that Breeden kicks away. Breeden continuing to surge forward. Great move from the center back. Townsend. Pushed out of play, evidently a Buffalo throw. Jandu. Young steps in, whistled for the foul though. Good aggression there from Maddie Young, just got a little bit too physical. Jandu to take the free kick. Headed forward. Good step in by Jenny Santa Catarina. Townsend. Leaves it for Lecky. Lecky, a long run into the box. Low cross for Young. And it's kicked away. And into the safe hands of Emily Kelly. Is a low cross there from Lecky the right move? Uh, it, was, it was tough to tell with the way that Buffalo had numbers back. 
I don't think Ohio had an advantage. Fair substitution, Karina Derrick returns for Ohio. Derrick comes on for Matty Young. Marcy Barbaric. And Marcy Barbaric comes back in for Buffalo, replacing Riley Bowers. Townsend gives it away and kicks it out of play. Ohio trailing by two goals with 15 minutes left in regulation. You got to think that Ohio needs to score in the next five minutes or so to really have a chance in this game. McGuire to Molesky. Brought down by Leckie. Plays back for Breeden. Breeden looking forward for Deerig. It's a long run for Deerig. She won't beat Kelly there. Kelly handled it by kicking it back into the box for herself to pick up. And now she'll boot it away. Norris header is played forward by Buffalo. Offside to call. And Yurchak was at least two steps offside. You said it, now is where, if you're Ohio, it becomes a time where you need to go in the next five, six minutes, give yourself at least seven or eight to get the equalizer. Nor, Molesky. For Kalika. Good run by Breeden down the right side. She surges forward. Long cross looking for Townsend or McGuire. But Emily Kelly was able to come out and catch it just Barely too much from Breeden, but the right idea. Right idea from Victoria right Breeden. She's down. so good at knowing when to make her runs. Creates opportunities for Ohio. Molesky looking forward for Deerig. Buffalo able to keep it down. When gender plays forward for Yurchak. But eventually the Ohio defense steps in. McGuire. Working against Wen Gender, keeps it, gives it to Sensky. Now Breeden. For Kalika down the right. A lot of space for Morgan Kalika, and she'll run into it. Townsend searching for Lecky down that right side. Yurchak forward for Buffalo. Breeden with a good turn. Lecky. Santa Catarina looking forward for Deerig. Long run for Serena Deerig. She tracks it down. Townsend. Just some great defense from Jandu. Eventually, Townsend wins it back and wins a corner. Ball taken over the touchline by the defense. It's a corner. Ohio's played a couple catch. short today, but I don't think you can play. Oh, they are going to play short. Lecky. Works it inside the 18. Her shot just past the post. Lucky looking for that upper 90. And I think it was the right move. Good touch around, I believe it was Jandu, and rips a shot. Maybe you just like to put it on target, make Kelly make a save, maybe get a rebound. Kelly has not been troubled by too much today. No saves in the first half for her. And in the second half, her saves have not had to be particularly daring. McGuire looking forward for Deerig, just way too far forward. The freshman got under that one. Kelly picks it up, 12 minutes to play. Buffalo with a two goal lead. Kelly boots toward midfield. Kalika brings it down for Ohio. Tries to find Townsend. Good step in there by Callahan. Well forward. Breeden deals with it. Molesky. Looking for Lecky. Lecky with options here. Working toward the box. Still there for Lecky. Deerig leaves it. Kalika's left-footed shot is deflected. 
Semsky plays forward. Molesky still trying to keep that offensive effort for Ohio. Knorr. Still Paige Knorr finds a cross right to Kelly. Cross gathered in by Kelly. Ohio, it just seems, has been this close. A tad off in the attacking third all afternoon. Just under 11 to play. Buffalo with a two-goal lead. Breeden controls for Ohio. Finds Townsend down the right. Breeden continues her run. And Townsend gives it away. Playing forward for Buffalo is Barbaric. Tracking against Townsend, who's playing way further back than normal. But she's able to win it away. Townsend steps around one defender. Plays for Molesky, who gives it away. Barbaric, Wengender. Forward for Barbaric. She's on side, low shot, not enough power. Easily saved by Mallon. Nor. Finds the run of McGuire. Molesky. Still Olivia Molesky. Overlapping run by McGuire, not needed. Looking for Townsend and the cross just a little bit too tall. Under 10 to play. Goal kick for Buffalo. Leading 2 0. Paris up to the ball. Caitlin Walsh re enters. Much better second half than it was the first half for Ohio. Still just a little sloppy on Buffalo's side of the field. Kelly. Goal kick toward the middle of her own side. Molesky able to win the ball away. Pushed over by Callahan, and Ohio earns a free kick. Aaron Rodgers comes off the sideline to send the ball toward the area where the free kick will be taken. Rodgers understands the time is of the essence here. You got to take advantage of one of these set pieces. Ohio has won multiple corners in this second half. A couple free kicks, nothing to show for it. Sansky to take it. Plays it low to Lecky. Lecky keeps it with Ohio. Dealt with temporarily by Buffalo. Breeden. Knorr. Well played by Breeden. Paige Knorr with a cross in. Deerig trips in the box. The ball wouldn't have got there anyway. Jandu was in position. Kalika. Townsend to the right side. Abby Townsend, a low cross that was deflected, and it's booted away. Sensky deals with it. Breeden looking for Townsend. Still Abby Townsend. Sensky crucially wins it. Looks for Molesky. Doesn't quite find Molesky. McGuire. Breeden plays it back to McGuire. A lot of space for Heather McGuire. Cross in for Deerig, just a little bit too tall. Ohio with plenty of positive energy. Seven and a half to play. Deerig loses it there. And this could be trouble for Victoria Breeden. She tracks it down, though. Beat Caridi. That was crucial. Nor. Can't get around Wengender, but Wengender kicks it out of play. Ohio throw, seven to play. Dierig. Sensky. Looking for Townsend. Bouncing around in the midfield. And Buffalo able to play it forward. Caridi won't get there before Malum, although it was a little bit tense there for a second. The pace and the energy that Victoria Breeden has right now at this point in the game is outstanding. She's been in for all 90 minutes. 
Wengender trips Paige Knorr and gives Ohio a free kick. Taken short, just about six minutes to play. Kalika doesn't control it, and it rolls out of play under the faithful watch of Caitlin Walsh. Catherine Camper returns to the game. Joining her, Kara Daly. Camper and Daly back in for Buffalo. When gender comes off, as does Catherine Walsh, or Caitlin Walsh, excuse me. Sensky. Nor. Another Buffalo defender, right spot, right time. Couldn't quite see who that was, but Townsend was in. If that ball doesn't get passed, it was Ford. Kalika will win this away. No, she'll be whistled for a foul. Kara Daly fell over. Evidently, it was because of pressure from Kalika, and that will allow Buffalo to tick a little bit more time off this clock, which is already not at the Bobcats' advantage. Jandu takes the free kick from the halfway line. Breeden, Sensky. Looking well forward for McGuire. Good run from the freshman, but she can't control it. Nor steps in. Santa Catarina. Ohio still looking for something out of this game. Leckie touches it forward, looking for Deerig, nothing doing. Santa Catarina looking for Townsend. No dice down the right side. Kalika. Townsend. Long cross looking for Deerig, the header into the hands of Emily Kelly. Great ball from Townsend there. Good job by Deerig to win it in the air, but just couldn't get enough on it. Ohio throw down the left side in their defending third. Breeden surging forward. Looking for Derek Santa Catarina. Her pass is too long for McGuire. Molesky to McGuire. Back to Molesky. Surging down the left side comes the senior. Molesky tripped up as she lost the ball. Good defense there from Sensky and Paige Knorr. Three minutes to play, second half. Buffalo leading by two. Ohio still searching for what at this point would mostly be a consolation goal. Townsend. Inside the area, now loses it outside the area. Paige, or excuse me, Olivia Sensky steps in. Townsend. Left-footed low cross for Deerig. Quick turn, Kelly makes the save. That might be the most challenging save Emily Kelly has had to make all day. And it'll be a corner kick for Ohio. Credit to Deerig there. I mean, she's been good today, but I'll say this about Serena Deerig. When she shoots, she knows how to put a ball on net. That's her 12th shot of the year, ninth on goal. She only has one goal to show for it, but she makes the keeper work. Townsend to take the corner. Low cross. Touched out for another Ohio two corner. Minutes. Two minutes. Lou Horvath tells us there's two minutes left in this game. Townsend once again for the corner. Townsend with another corner. Lifted in. Jenny Santa Catarina had the ball fall to her feet and she couldn't put it on net. Aaron Rodgers talks to us throughout the week about those types of opportunities. It's way easier said than done to, to, to bring that ball down and, and touch it in, but 
at least from our angle, Santa Catarina didn't have anyone in front of her. You got to get a foot on that and poke it in the back of the net. Leah Wengender also back in. Question, Sydney Gilmore into the game for the first time. Kelly falls to the feet of Deerig, but Callahan keeps it with Buffalo. Leckie for Deerig, and Leckie can't keep it in play. It's just been a frustrating afternoon for Ohio. Molesky pokes it forward, as does Townsend. Nobody there, and Townsend can't track it down herself. Under a minute to go. McGuire wins the header. Leckie. And here comes Buffalo, Kara Daly. Playing it for Wengender. Breeden steps in. Kalika boots it away for Molesky. Santa Catarina. McGuire, 20 seconds to play. Townsend leaps through the air, can't control it. Kelly scoops it up, and Buffalo should be able to tick off the remaining 12 seconds on the clock. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Your final score, Buffalo, two, Ohio, nil. That does it on this Sunday afternoon at Chesapeake Field. Buffalo defeats Ohio two to nothing on a day where the Bobcats just couldn't right find that crucial Friday, finishing touch. Disappointing for Ohio. Weekend. Disappointing well, weekend for the start. Bobcats. Uh, be available for you, you, right you come in throughout the week, you see Akron Friday. and Buffalo on the schedule. Uh, you, you hope you can, you know, at minimum maybe get four points. So winning a tie, didn't expect to lose either of those matches. And Buffalo just a better team this afternoon. And Ohio disappointing result Thursday at Akron. And Ohio now, I like to say, behind the chains. They, they, they've got some ground to make up um, in the Mid-American Conference, especially. Again, you don't like to get too ahead of yourself, but to finish the season at Ball State, at Kent State, that's a really brutal schedule to finish it out. Uh, we talked beforehand, Ohio, in the, in the four-game stretch here with Buffalo, Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Miami, you'd like at least three wins. Well, you don't get the result you want today. Uh, Ohio badly needs a fantastic three-game stretch in the next week and a half or so. And that could hopefully carry forward some momentum to those games you mentioned at Ball State and at Kent State. Buffalo improves to 6-6-1, six and 3-3 six and one, three and three in the Mid-American Conference. They'll take on Northern Illinois at home next Friday night, 7 o'clock start time in Buffalo, New York for the Bulls. For Ohio... The Cats dropped to seven and six, two and three and one in Mid American Conference play. Next up for Ohio, a date with Central Michigan here at Chesapeake Field Friday afternoon at four o'clock. Gabe Genovese will have that one for you next Friday here on Bobcat TV. For Darian Dudzik, our camera operator, and for Luke Steiner, our stream operator. For Gabe Genovese, I've been Noel Wolf. It's been a pleasure having you with us on this Sunday afternoon. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you Friday from here at Chesa.